Hey guys, this is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, in today's video, this is just a personal video log and a little natter about some bits and bobs that I've been up to. Uh, I should also warn you that this video will likely contain flashing lights. So here we are, sort of getting on towards the middle of March. We're still in lockdown in the UK. Uh, it is doing my head in now, being stuck here at home. It feels like Groundhog Day. Uh, the tedium is really starting to take its toll and I'm really kind of uh, scraping the barrel for uh, especially video ideas. Um, so uh, hence, you know, not many uh, videos of late. Um, now, in this video, um, I'm just basically gonna show you what I'm getting up to. I, I've basically had some emails from a number of people who said, Rick, come on, we miss your videos. We don't really care that much what you're doing. We just kind of like to listen to the sound of your voice, which is very kind. So it sort of prompted me to uh, get a, a camera out and just sort of point it at whatever I'm doing today. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get some sort of a video out of it. Now I'm also uh, doing 3D sound, sorry, 8D sound again on this video. I've got this little setup, I've got this polystyrene head uh, with some 8D recording uh, earphones. So if you listen to this in earphones, uh, it'll be like, the sound will be like you're stood in the room here with me. So if I move over to the uh, to the right or to the left here, um, you can, you can, hear what's going on and uh, if I move over here um, you can still sort of hear me moving around um, you know your eyes should match what your ears are hearing um, so anyway it's just purely um, I do it you know because because I can right as you can see we are in my spare bedroom this is a spare bedroom this used to be my room uh, I've actually moved now to the north side of the house um, which has freed up this room. I sort of use it, part of it where my wardrobe used to be, that's now my office. Uh, so this is the, the desk where I do all my uh, video making stuff. Um, but it's freed up this space. Now originally I was kind of working on the idea of building a model railway in here. And then I thought, no, I'm just not old enough to, <laughs> to have a model railway. So uh, I've gone for the next best thing, which is a DJ setup and I've been doing um, live streams and well actually that's a lie I've been video recording um, and broadcasting those um, live streams obviously we've got some flashing lights going on here um, I've been building up a collection of lights uh, the main ones here are these spider lights I've got three identical uh, spider lights they have these turrets um, that go on uh, and uh, th th this this one in the middle it picks up the sound from this speaker and then it transfers that to light uh, and then through these uh, DMX cables um, it talks to these other two so all three lights all work in unison and they do identical things. Um, I've got these these little lights here they just kind of have a sparkly effect. I've got some lasers up there and some just very cheap little ball lights at the top there. Um, this little thing at the back I'm kind of kind of quite pleased with this. Um, this is uh, just one of those LED strip things. I think it's 10 meters, five meters a side. Um, inside these little uh, one meter long aluminium diffusers. And uh, this does sound to light. So when it picks up the sound, it flashes. But the bulbs in this, or the LED lights, they all have individual addresses. So they can all be different colors at the same time. And uh, so that's kind of fun. And uh, yeah, obviously you've got the DJ decks here, and uh, this is what controls it, and then just an old laptop uh, that runs the software that runs this, that makes the music. Oh yeah, I've also got um, a TV. I had a TV in my bedroom, and I never used it. And uh, so I thought, what can I do with it? I was gonna sell it. Um, and then I had this idea. It's, it's quite a big one. It's like a, I don't know, 40 inch, I think. Um, why don't I hang it on the front of this desk? Uh, and then I can put kind of cool visuals on it. Uh, and that's exactly what I've done. And uh, so it looks really good in the, uh, you know, the, the, the thing. And then what I've been doing, I've been filming these. And then just recently, I've been syncing them into virtual reality worlds. This is all thanks to my good friend, Joe, Joe Wheeler, DJ Joe Wheeler. And I'll leave a link uh, to his channel below. He started us off in this, um, there's this thing called Alt Space VR, and you, you can get it on, um, you, can, you can use it like in 2D, but you can also use it in VR. And uh, he built this really cool festival world with a big stage and a big screen behind. 
and uh, the other day he did a, a live stream to that screen and it was like being in a festival. You literally stood around, you got the fences, then you got the stage, you got the drinks tent over there. I'll show you some visuals of it. Um, and the, the beauty of it is, while the video is running and while, the, while it's all happening, he's got the, like the laser lights and everything, you can go around and film it and then you can incorporate the filming of that into your videos. And uh, anyway, so he inspired me to create my own world. So I've got this really cool world that I've created. It's like a Japanese garden. Oops, knocking the place about. It's like this big Japanese garden with this big, uh, this big Tori gate. Um, and then it's got like all these spaceships flying around. It's got this massive, great big, like stellar sized uh, galactic spaceship just hovering above the site. And it's got DJ sort of, um, got flashing lights on it, you know, laser lights and everything. And then I built this huge, great stage and it's got the big screen at the back of it and it's got laser lights everywhere. And uh, the idea is that you can do, you can host live events there where people can come in. And um, it's, we sort of worked out, it's pretty difficult to actually do actual live streaming to those screens because the, the, the technical, gymnastics you've got to do is just it's it's a nightmare and it's just really prone to um uh, just stopping and packing up so the best solution we found at the moment is to video record the actual session and then to stream that you know to sort of premiere it uh, on these stages but what i have noticed is when i film in the room here especially like from the i've got a little camera here that sort of keeps an eye on what i'm doing here you can see the the other side of the room and it's not it's not particularly a pretty sight um, I mean obviously this is the window and I've just got these um, these are like foam board sheets that I've just put up with velcro because obviously I can pop those down at any time um, but it's just not a pretty sight so I'm going to be doing some experimenting today um, I thought what about if I get hold of some black material and just disguise these walls um, because they're a little bit too light so I thought I, I just want to do this cheaply. I'm not looking to spend loads and loads of money on it. So the best material I could come up with, and I hope it's gonna be all right, uh, was weed suppression membrane. I remember back from my allotment days, um, I once used this stuff um, and it was rubbish for weeds because the weeds just push straight through it. Um, the, the, the best, all it does is cast a bit of a shadow on the ground. But you can buy it in quite large quantities for not a lot of money. I think this was about 12 quid. Uh, which is about know, 15, 16 dollars. So what I'm going to do, I bought some little black, uh, black-headed drawing pins. These little, these little drawing pins with plastic heads on them that are, that are the same colour that are black. Because the only other ones I got are white. Um, and I'm going to put drops all the way around the room, and I'm going to do that today. Uh, and then hopefully that'll dim down the edges, and hopefully it'll, it'll give an, almost like an infinity. Or, or a large room feel to the video footage. I'm not sure, it's purely experimental. I've noticed this is a little bit shiny, which probably isn't that ideal because it's gonna, it's gonna reflect off of it, isn't it? The lights are gonna hit it. Um, but we'll see, it's worthy of an experiment, I think. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Now I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna get the, this stuff down the wall and then get the lights to come through. Um, but these are on, the only thing holding these up are little clips. So these, these, these aluminium, uh, I think I can, yeah, I can unplug it. So these aluminium strips are on actual, um, just on clips. So what I can do, hopefully, if I'm careful, he says, yeah, sorted, that was easy. So I'm gonna get on with that and uh, I'll get back to you when it's done. So there we go, uh, we're back and I've done, uh, I managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drops. I mean, it doesn't look like much, but hopefully with the lights out uh, and these lights running, it might make a difference, it might not, I don't know. I'll have to uh, film it and see what it looks like. The only problem is I can't do it during the day at the moment because if you turn the light out, hopefully you can see the light comes through from outside. Uh, so um, I'll have to do it when it's dark outside or get a little bit more of this stuff and just put it over the, where the window is because it's still shining through, but we'll see. Now as for the, uh, the videos that I create in this little 
this little Rick World here. Um, I obviously can't put them here on this channel uh, because of copyright issues. Um, so I've got a separate channel I've set aside for that. I work under the pseudonym of DJ Zenwolf. Um, and I've got myself a little anime character um, that I use as my logo. Don't ask me why, it's just kind of fun. And, uh, <laughs> and I even bought a little hat that lights up. How cool is that? <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so I'll leave a link below to the channel if you fancy going along. Basically, originally I was, I was just gonna specialize in niche music like, uh, like anime, J-pop, K-pop, things like that. Weird out there stuff, but actually, um, a lot of the, the trance music, a lot of the, the euphoric uplifting trance, I think that's gonna be my proper niche. I really, I'm really listening to a lot more of that stuff and I'm really enjoying it. It's that, that trance music that starts off, you get the, um, you know, it's quite thumping sort of dance house music and then it sort of goes into this, this kind of ethereal sort of lull. Um, and then it builds up, you get this slow build up da, 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 to this massive epic crescendo and then it sort of goes into this absolutely banging beat. I love that stuff, I get goosebumps when I play it. So that is pretty much what my, uh, I think my main niche is gonna be. And I've just, um, I've just started uh, acquiring a lot more of that music. And uh, so that's, I think that's where I'm aiming at. But yeah, it's all kind of, this seems to be pretty much the only creative outlet I've got at the moment. Um, this world building in VR, you can actually go onto Alt Space in a VR headset and you can actually create a world completely in the headset. I know some people, they use this special software, this SDK software, something called Unity. I've tried getting my head around it and it's just way, whew, it's way above my pay grade. Um, I've tried figuring it out, I can't, I, so I have to rely on this world building software within the, the actual app, which is basically just drag and drop. Um, but you can still build these amazing worlds, and I've probably shown you visuals of this, this Japanese garden with the spaceships and everything. Um, and it just, I love this, this world building, it just, it, it really does bring out the creative sort of side of your brain. And uh, you, you, you know, you really start thinking outside the box a little bit, and uh, just adding all the little details. And it's very, very therapeutic and very calming and relaxing to do. So I have enjoyed doing that, and uh, hopefully I can share it with uh, some of you guys. You don't actually need a virtual reality headset to enter this world. You can do it on the screen. You just go to Alt Space VR. Um, and I'll leave a link below to the world that I built. So if you want to see it, you have to load a little program onto your computer and then you can enter that world and you can use your keys and mouse, um, your keys, yeah, and mouse to, uh, to move around it and navigate it. So, but anyway, that's, uh, that's all good. And I'll stop talking about this now because I've probably gone on for ages. Um, so I'm going to sign off here. This is Rick from Rick World, still stuck at home, still sort of under house arrest and just um, chomping on the bit to get outside and actually start living life again. I hope you guys are uh, doing okay in this, this crazy times at the moment. And uh, do feel free to let me know below how you're getting on. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.